What is some advice you can give me for the A plus study? <laughs> Savian, thank you so much, Tech G, for all the informative videos you post. I'm preparing to take my A-plus exam in March. What is some advice you can give me for the A-plus? Study. <laughs> Study. It's a lot of stuff in A-plus, man. Remember, it's two tests, hardware, software. You got to pass both to become A-plus certified. In each test, if you go pull up the PDF file for the course objectives for the A-plus hardware, excuse me, the A-plus core one, I should say, and the core two, which is also known as the software. But anyways, you go pull up the objectives. Each objective is like 19 pages long, 19 pages of information. It's a lot of stuff to digest. So you say you plan on taking the exam in March. I'm assuming you're taking the hardware exam and then you're going to take the software exam probably a month or so um, probably a month or so later because you're not going in there to take just one test and become certified remember it's two tests core one also known as hardware core two also known as software you got to pass both exams to become a plus certified and you can take either test in either order it's just most people start off with the hardware then they go to the software but regardless of what it is you need to develop a study plan like hey i'm gonna study 30 minutes 45 minutes to an hour every single day get your notebooks out your pens your papers sign up for tech G courses on YouTube, go get my study materials off my website and get busy and just get it cracking. Just get to study. If you're going to actually take the test, go get your voucher first. Go pay for your voucher. I sell discounted vouchers on my website, but go get your voucher, pay for your exam, lock in your date, and then start studying. Because if you do that, there's probably going to be a way higher incentive for you to study because you know you've already put some money on the line. And if you don't go out there and take this test and pass it or show up to take that test, you're going to fail and lose your money. So go get your voucher first, book your exam, lock it in, then start studying. That's my advice to you. Certifications are for people who already have the job. Please don't think this certification money grab is going to get you a job over someone with real world application. So I don't know what Fox Tech Gaming is talking about, but certifications are for people who are trying to get jobs as well. It's not just for people who have the jobs, but there are plenty of opportunities out there that specifically look for people who are not working in tech, i.e. newbies, i.e. entry. That's, that's, they have a whole category called entry-level IT jobs. What does entry-level IT jobs mean, ladies and gentlemen? Entry-level IT jobs are jobs in IT that are for people who aren't working in IT. That's literally what it means, right? And in order for you to apply for a lot of these entry-level jobs, well, you have to get certified to apply for the jobs. Now, that doesn't mean that you always have to have a certification to get a job because if you can go in there with experience and you can prove that you know how to do this, that, and the third, then obviously you can go in there and show and prove. But here's the thing, when you're applying for an entry level job, remember there's probably like four or 500 people applying for that job, which means you got four or 500 resumes coming through your, your freaking inbox that you got to sift through to figure out who are you going to actually sit down and do an interview with. And what is one of the fastest ways to get the four or 500 people? All right, well, let me go ahead and put some filters in. Who has their A plus and network plus certification? All right, out of those 500 people, only 100 people got it. Guess what? 400 people, I don't even have to worry about them. I'm just going to focus on these 100 people right here. And we're, we're going to go through these 100 people till we find the right person that we want to hire. That's how this works. So yes, certifications are for people who are trying to look for jobs as well. And even if you already work in IT, let's just say you've been working in tech for two or three years, and you're trying to transition into a cyber security role, but you don't have any cybersecurity certifications. Well, guess what, Fox Tech? You're going to have to go out there and go get certified so you can apply and transition into that cybersecurity role or that cloud role or that database development role or network, whatever role it is you're trying to go into. So certifications are important. It's not just for people who work in tech, but it's also important for those who haven't gotten a job in tech. I mean, trust me, I'm the guy that teaches this crap. I've been doing this for 20 something years, but my opinion is my opinion. So I guess I'm a snake oil salesman. All right. So let me pull this up real quick. I'm assuming Fox Tech hasn't gotten certified or maybe he's gone through my stuff and hasn't passed. But you guys go to my community tab. Y'all tell me how much of a snake oil salesman I am. These are real comments left by real people who watch my videos. I passed. I watched your video and passed. Uh oh, is that a certification? Oh, matter of fact, this is actually Zakiba. Zakiba's in the chat, or he, should, or he was in the chat earlier, but this is actually his uh, test result. This is somebody that actually taught over the last two months, or however long it has been, how to pass the A plus, at least the A plus hardware. 
He passed. I passed. Somebody else who passed because they, they were taught by me. Who else we got? I pass. 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 We just keep going. I don't know too many snake oil salesmen who puts up all this stuff from people who've used this stuff to pass certifications. I don't know what this person's talking about, but I'm just saying when people use my stuff and they send me comments or they send me their certifications or testing results, I post it on the YouTube so everybody will see it. One to, you know, give these people a shout out, but I don't know what this person's talking about, man. Shout out to